Hi everyone, welcome to Veronica Hug. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a wonderful little bag for your wine um, bottles and these are not only great for transportation, they're also a great gift. So if you'd like to see how you can make these, make sure to stay tuned. I'm going to show you right away. So for this project, I used one ball of the Wooly Hugs Home and I have here 60% cotton, 40% polyamide, 100 grams and 57 meters. So one ball was enough for two of these projects. So one is a circle and one is a little decorative heart. Of course, this really depends on how tightly you work or how much yarn you use, but this is about um, the size that you can get. So today I'm going to be crocheting this and here is my crocheting needle. The yarn itself is recommended for 8 to 10 millimeter crocheting um, hooks or knitting needles. And I will use a 6 millimeter one since I want it a little bit tighter this time. So you can of course use any color that you'd like. In my case, I think the bottles are going to match this Terra um, shade and the white. So I'm going to work with the darker one because I think it's a little bit better um, on video, but of course you can do the same thing with any other color. So we're going to start with a ring and we're going to kind of cover the base of the bottle first. So as always, I'm going to put numbers in the background so that you know where you're at in case you need to rewind so that you don't have to watch the entire video. So for the ring, we're basically going to um, have our ending on the right side and then we're going to have um, the rest of it on the left. We're going to go in and we're going to do one stitch there. So by stitch, I just mean a little loop and then I'm going to do an extra chain on here. And now around the ring, so both of the beginning thread and the ring itself, I'm going to do seven single crochets. Three. Five. Then we have the sixth one and the seventh and we're done. So now that we have our base, I'm going to pull the beginning thread so that we can kind of tighten it. And then I'm going to go into the first stitch that we started with. So that's going to start a row two. And this time I'm not going to be working with slip stitches. Instead, I'm going to be working with um, spirals instead of rounds. So here I'm going to go into the top section of the first stitch and I'm going to do a single right away. So that way we're going to work in a spiral instead of a finished round. And now into the same stitch. So still the first stitch on here, we're going to go in again and we're going to do another single. That way our circle is going to grow. So now I'm going to go into the back section of the stitch and do a single and then into the front of the stitch and do a single. And I'm going to keep going like this. So first through the back section and then through the front section of each stitch. And I'm going to do that way 14 stitches in the spiral, so to speak, since I'm doing two per each stitch that I have in the base. And the seventh. So now I have, as I said, 14 stitches in my spiral. So now you can use a marker um, just to mark where your spiral ended or began. 
you can even use the beginning thread, but it might not be long enough if you have a little bit less um, there. So that depends on the length of the thread, but you can even use that one to mark your beginning and end. So now we're going to start with the round three, and I'm calling them rounds, although they're really spirals. But anyway, we're going to get started again and do the first stitch. We're going to do a regular single. Then into the second stitch from there, we're going to do two stitches. So this time, just the every other stitch is getting two singles instead of just one. I'm going just into the back sections of the stitches. And it's always one and then two and then one and then two. That way we're going to have 21 stitches or 14 plus the seven new ones in the next round. So always one stitch in the existing stitch and the next one gets two then. And one more time. So now, as I said, we again increased by seven stitches in this round. So now I'm going to pull the beginning thread really tight because that way we're going to have everything nice and neat in the end and really stable when we put our bottle on the inside. So make sure you pull it really, really tight. And then we can again mark the beginning of the new spiral. So this is going to be our fourth round now. And we're going to go into the first stitch. We're going to go in and do just one single into the next one we're going to do two. The third one is again going to do, going to get just one. And now these three stitches, I'm going to keep repeating six more times. So one stitch gets just one stitch, the middle one gets two, and the third one again gets just one single. And now we start over. So one, one single, two singles, one single. That's the sequence we're repeating. Now we again have the one then two, and then just one again. There we go. Our fourth spiral is now again done, and we're going to do the fifth one. Um, for now, we're done with the spirals for the base, so here we're going to um, not expand it anymore. So we're going to go into the first stitch, but from the back, and we're going to go into the back section of the stitch. The next one we're going to go in through the front, and we're basically going to do a single there. So through two and through two more. And then we're going to go into the same stitch we were just at, and we're going to go in again from the back, then the next one from the front, pull through two and through two. And I'm going to keep repeating this so that you can also follow, but this is what we're doing the entire spiral now. That way our stitches are going to stand upright, and that's exactly the direction we want to go in. So 
lemon. Protein. Seventeen. And twenty. Twenty one. Twenty five. Twenty seven. And 28, that was the four spirals. So now you see a lovely edge on here and that's exactly what we want. And this is now gonna keep growing upwards like this, like on here. So we're gonna start the sixth round now. Seventh, eighth, and ninth are gonna be the same. So we're gonna keep going with the singles into the back section of each stitch. So now again, we're going into the stitch where we went in from the front and that's where we're going to start a new stitch from the back. And now we're going to just keep going with singles, um, as I said, in the back section of each stitch. And yeah, I'm again marking the spiral beginning here. Just make sure it's always in the back section of the stitch. Nine and ten. And twenty twenty seven and twenty eight. And now we're again at the beginning where our beginning thread is. So this was a six spiral. Now we're gonna do the seventh, eighth, and ninth the exact same way. So in case you're in Germany, you may already know what this is about, but the Solidarity wine that I have in the background and the bottles that I'm making these holders for are as a part of a um, humanitarian um, organization that helps people in the region of Germany that just recently had a lot of flooding going on. So every bottle that is sold, um, a certain percentage of the money goes towards those people. The AHR in the background is just the abbreviation for that region in Germany that had the flooding recently.
So the great thing is I tried this out and I actually took two bottles with me when I was visiting someone and um, they survived really well the train and the transportation to and from the train station so I'd say that these are pretty sturdy. So as you can see, this is a pretty quick project. I'm gonna keep working on it. We have just a couple more spirals to go and then I'm gonna show you the next section. Okay, so now I'm done with the eighth one. Soon I'm gonna finish the ninth one as well. So that's the only number that we now have in the background. And then I'm gonna show you how to move on from there. So as you know, I also had the cherry wool that I very often used in my projects and that's also something that is connected to a humanitarian cause in my region. So this is something that's really important to me and this is just something that I, how I can regionally support um, the people that need the support I can provide. So of course, um, in different regions of the world, um, there are different things going on, but I think it's really important to talk about these things and try to help in any way that we can. Okay, so now we can continue. So I'm gonna put here row 10 or round 10 or spiral 10. And now I'm gonna show you how you can still show off the label nicely and still keep the sturdy form of your little wine bag, so to speak. I think wine bag is a pretty nice name. So we're gonna do a couple chains. 19 is the number we need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches is what we skip. Into the eighth, we go in into both pieces or both um, halves of the stitch, and we do a single there. And that way, we're gonna have a little bit of a window here for the label of the wine bottle. Now I'm gonna skip three stitches afterwards and I'm gonna do um, a stitch into the fourth one. Again, a single into both um, halves of the stitch on the bottom. Then I'm gonna do five chains again and I'm gonna go into the fourth and do again a single. And I'm gonna keep going like that till I reach the beginning of this spiral.
into the fourth and again one more time. So now I have two, um, three, four bows and the fifth one is just um, about to be done. So I'm again skipping the chains here on the bottom and I'm actually skipping all of them and into the third stitch of my big bow I'm going to go in and that's where I'm going to close off this last bow. Okay, spiral, I keep saying round, spiral 11, we're doing five chains. Turn, and then around this bow here, we're going to go and do a single again. Then we're again going to do five chains around the next bow, again a single, and we're going to keep going like that again for the entire spiral. Now we're at the end of the 11th spiral. Here I'm doing three chains and into the third chain here. So the third one we go in and do a single there. And now we skip one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So make sure you count that right, but we skip seven and then into the eighth we go in and we do um, singles there. And we keep doing singles with every next stitch that we see. We're going to do a total of eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight total and that's what we want. I think it's eight. Um, yeah, so we're going to need nine total. Then we're going to continue here with three chains and then we're going to go around the first bow here and then we're going to start our bow number four. five chains and single around the bow and keep repeating that. And now here we start with a single, so we're going to start with the first single here on top of the single we already have. And here we're going to do five chains and skip, go into the fourth one and do a single there. And then again five chains into the fourth. So skip three into the fourth chain, we go in and do a single. 
and then again five chains and then around the bow with a single so here you already know what to do and now we're starting also the four theme spiral And now again, always five chains and one single into the bow below. Four times, one more. And one more. There we go. So a total of seven times now. Spiral number 15 is incoming. Again, same thing, so five chains around the bow and keep going. This is three bows total, so let's keep going like that. Now we have five done, two more. Six, so actually just one more this time. No, not seven, but six instead. And then we start with a new spiral and we again keep going like that. Now here we're going to do three chains and into the following bow we're going to do a single and now we're going to keep doing three. So instead of five we're doing three chains in this round. There we go, again just three, and we're done with that spiral too. Now I'm going to do 40 chains for the handle, so where you're actually going to carry it. Um, that's the section we're doing now. That was 30. There we go, that's 40. So now on the opposite side, so where we did the five chains, we're gonna go through and do a single, and then we're again gonna do 40 chains so that we get the exact same thing one more time. Oh, 
25. And 40. So now again we're going back. So where we started, that's where we go and we do a single there. And that way we get two handles, two straps that we can carry our bottle with. Now I'm doing 18 chains. There we go. Now I'm going to take both of these handles and I'm going to go here on top and I'm just going to crochet them together. So I'm going to do a single and then another one and I'm going to keep going like that. So I have on the one side three and on the other side two, which means we're doing the exact same thing to get a symmetrical look. So we're doing 18 chains again. There we go. And now right where we started at, we're going to go in again and do a single there. And then we can shorten the thread already because we are done. I'm going to do one more chain and pull. And now for the weaving in, I have a really cool trick with this yarn. So what I'm going to do is just pull the middle out and it's going to be a little bit different color here. We can cut that off, then we can use a darning needle or anything else you're using for weaving in and we can weave it in way more easily and this way it's not going to be visible either because it's a little bit thinner since we pulled the um, middle section out. There we go. I'm going to do it a little bit more just to make sure it all stays in place and doesn't um, get loose anytime soon. And now on the inside, I'm also going to weave in the beginning thread. I'm also going to shorten it a little bit and do the same thing. So pull out the middle, cut that off, and then weave in with my darning needle. So again, same thing as before. I'm pulling it through three or four threads just to make sure it stays in place and then we can turn it the right way around and put our bottle on the inside.
there we go. So this is the label in the front and the rest of it you can see. I'm gonna move the camera a little bit so that you can see better, but this is the wine bottle bag or wine bag. So you can, as I said, um, use this for your own transportation or you can um, definitely give this away as a gift. I think it's a lot more personal this way than just gifting a wine bottle. So this way, um, yeah, you make it a little bit more special. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to shoot me a thumbs up if you did. You can also subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more similar videos like this. And if you click on the notification bell, then you'll even get notified every time I post a new video. So I do a lot of different projects. I do crocheting just like this project. I do a lot of knitting, even some Tunisian crocheting or nooking. You might know it under that name and yeah generally i try many different things out and if you have suggestions feel free to post them below in the comment section and yeah i hope you guys also like the yarn that i used today let me know if you tried it out so here you can see the color that we worked with but also here are the decorative pieces i showed you at the beginning that um are in a circular and a heart shape that I was also trying out a while ago. So I hope you guys enjoyed. See you in my next project. Have a great day. Bye!